Welcome back to The W. I'm Julie Lamerno. And I'm Elise Stutz. In almost all headline news, reporters have brought national attention to the November murder of four University of Idaho students. Sunday, November 13, 2022, roommates Kaylee Concavs, Madison Morgan, Zana Carnoodle, as well as Carnoodle's boyfriend, Ethan Chapman, were stabbed to death in the girls' off-campus house. According to authorities, the brutal killing occurred around 4 a.m. after the six students got home on a night out, leaving two surviving roommates. On Wednesday, January 18th, Julie and I interviewed a contributing reporter from the Idaho Statesman, Angela Palermo. We asked Palermo the following questions. Who were you involved with to report about this case? Palermo has been located in Moscow since the murder took place. Palermo said, the staff has become a lot bigger to cover the case. Many stories have been produced. Palermo had the opportunity to question the chief of police about the case in a press conference on December 30th, 2022. When Koberger had his first hearing, Palermo was outside the courthouse alongside the other press reporters. What evidence led police to target Brian Koberger? Police used Brian's cell phone pings, cell phone records, and DNA that was collected from a knife left at the crime scene to target and arrest Brian. Cameras located near the house recorded a white Hyundai Elantra having been seen passing the victim's home three times on their dead-end street at 3.29 a.m. and 4.20 a.m. What is Idaho State University doing to deal with the deaths? The university is providing personal defense classes because of the heightened awareness. The amount of security alarms around campus have doubled, along with the amount of counseling staff. A vigil was held for the victims at the university a couple weeks after the tragedy. Is there any information on the two surviving roommates? Palermo told us as much as she could. Palermo said the only thing they have heard is told not to speak to anyone like the media and press. All we know is what the roommates have seen. Was Brian Koberger stalking Kaylee and Madison before the murder? This theory had not been confirmed by police, but it has been said that Brian watched the house about 12 times before the murder took place. Palermo said police have gotten multiple reports, but the police have yet to reveal his motive and Brian is still a suspect. When is Brian's court trial? Koberger was found in Pennsylvania at his parents' house after the murder. Koberger was returning home for his winter break between semesters. He was arrested on December 30th at his parents' house and brought back to Idaho. Last Thursday, January 12th, Koberger court date was scheduled. The next court date will be in June. It was scheduled a whole week since no one will know how long the court case will take to get a final answer. What is the impact of this tragedy? The overall impact is on the community itself, says Palermo. A sense of safety that the town once had is now lost. The safety and peace was disturbed when the murder had happened. The question everyone has now is, how will the community bring back the sense of safety? As for the university itself, Palermo states, the university has heard from many parents that they no longer want their children going back to the school. Many students have finished their first semester remotely, but many students might not return for the second. The case has yet to be resolved and more information will be shared by the minute. Other news reports like New York Times, CNN, and many, many more have been sharing more information day to day about updates on the case. Check in with your local news to find out what happens at Brian Koberger's court trial. Back to you at the W.